Hey guys, Mark from Crankworks Bicycles. Today we're bringing to you the Venton Level 2 and the Pace 500.3s. We're gonna compare and contrast these bikes a little bit. Um, they're similar in some ways, but they're very different in others. Um, one of the things that um, you'll notice when you test ride at Pace is this bike is a little more upright riding. It has an adjustable stem that we can actually raise the front end up a little more, or we can lower it down to stretch you out um, with the angle of the stem. The level does not allow that. It has a fixed position stem. We can raise it a little, lower it a little bit here with these spacers, but we cannot adjust the angle to sit you more upright. The pace is also gonna have a um, curved handlebar, so it's gonna be a little bit more of a cruiser position where the level is gonna have a mountain bike handlebar. It's gonna lean you over a little bit. You are gonna have a little pressure in your hands, your wrists, your elbows. Um, but the level does come with a suspension front fork on this bike. Um, so it does have a lockout. You can lock the front out. No suspension fork for the pace. Um, the level is gonna come stock with fenders and a rear rack. So um, on the pace, you can put fenders and rack on it, but it does not come with fenders and a rack. Um, we also have a little bit of different seat with these two bikes. We have a little more of a cruiser seat. Um, we have um, not really what I would call more of a performance seat, but we do have a little bit narrower of a seat on the level. And that's because of leaning over a little bit more. Um, we do have 500 watt motors on these guys. We do have the color screens. We both have uh, headlights and taillights, but the pace gains turn signals. Level does not have any. Um, two pretty cool bikes from Aventin. Um, uh, if you decide between the two of these, I definitely suggest a test ride. So come in, take one for a ride and take one home today. Thanks.